So as you can already see from the title of my short presentation, I would like to explain how the work of the Saga Consortium impacts and interacts with sustainability and the circular economy in the lighting sector. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say a few words about the Saga Consortium itself. It is an open global industry consortium in the field of lighting with currently more than 350 member companies. These are divided into regular associate and community members. The regular members are shown here in the slide and uh, they shape the content of the consortium's work in the members meetings. So the results of this work uh, are interface specifications for components of LED luminaires. These standards are also called books at Saga, and you can see a selection of visuals of these books here. Examples are uh, book 18, which describes the interface between an outdoor luminaire and a communication or sensor module, or the book 23, which describes the quite well-known analog LED set interface between LED modules and control gear, and book 26 for replaceable linear LED modules is currently in progress. So if one deals with the topic of sustainability, one very quickly comes across the essential work of the United Nations. A report by the Commission on Environment and Development states, sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without comprising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And in the 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development, there are 17 basic sustainable development goals and 169 targets that explain how these 17 goals are to be understood. They are targeted at governments, NGOs, but also at companies, associations, and private initiatives. Important aspects are, amongst others, of course, to counteract climate change, to conserve valuable resources, and to minimize environmental pollution. Here you can see four of these sustainable development goals that have a particular relevance in the field of lighting. It's number 12, responsible consumption and production. Number 13, climate action. Number 11, sustainable cities and communities. Or number three, good health and well-being. I would now like to move on to the topic of the circular economy. On the website of the European Parliament, the following definition can be found. It is a model of production and consumption which involves sharing, leasing, reusing, repairing, refurbishing and recycling existing materials and products as long as possible. And in this way, the life cycle of products is extended. I think from that it is obvious to conclude that an increasingly mature circular economy contributes significantly to the achievement of sustainability goals. What does all this mean for the lighting sector and how can the circular economies be supported in the lighting sector? So I see luminaires in particular here uh, that are durable, repairable, upgradable, future-proof and have replaceable components. These luminaires, we can call them also serviceable luminaires, and how can these above mentioned characteristics of serviceable luminaires be achieved? So I think it is very important that the luminaires are modular. 
it is very important that their components work together properly. That means that they are interoperable and that their interfaces are based as far as possible on internationally recognized standards. Ideally, there is a rich ecosystem of interoperable luminar components offered by many manufacturers. So this is where Zaga comes into play. The Saga Consortium focuses on the development and standardization of interface specifications for interoperable components for serviceable LED luminance. Saga is thus part of a set of rules and that support and promote the goals of the circular economy. Some regulatory requirements with the same goal are already in force on a predominantly regional level, and we expect more to come as already described by Elena. Other market requirements are also conceivable in this area in the future. In this context, Zaga uses the term circularity lighting to depict a market framework of standards and regulations for products and systems that support the aims of the circular economy through enhanced serviceability. Sustainable lighting is more a general term and includes the properties of circularity lighting next to supporting energy efficiency. In the following, I would like to address a few problem areas where Saga specifications offer fundamental solutions. First, luminaires, especially for outdoor use, and connectivity solutions have very different life cycles. While street lights are often in service for 30 years or more, connectivity and sensor technologies can change in a few years and open up completely new possibilities. Saga Book 18, for example, describes specifications for intelligent interfaces between outdoor luminaires and sensors or communication modules and allows these functions to be decoupled from each other. Sensor and communication modules can be selected independent from the luminaire and may be added or exchanged at any time. A second problem area can be that electronic products are subject to a statistical risk of failure. Even high quality and durable control gears, LED modules or lighting control devices can fail at some point of time. For outdoor luminaires in particular, it makes sense to be able to replace defective electronic components, not only in terms of material efficiency, but also from an economic perspective. The Saga books 24 and 25, for example, enable contactless programming of replaced control gears using uniform NFC readers, even on site. Furthermore, the replacement of defective LED modules is supported by the specifications of books 21 and 26, which also play a role in the following problem. There are many situations in which it may be desired to adapt or upgrade the product properties. For example, a different color temperature may be desirable due to a changed use, or the efficiency of a new and more modern LED module may already be so much higher than that of the old and used one that a replacement is worthwhile from an economic and ecological point of view. The ecosystem created by Saga books 21 and 26 allows the selection of modules with desired characteristics, for example, the efficiency, or the color temperature, or the CRI, or others. Now I come to a conclusion. 
sustainable lighting systems are energy efficient, durable, can be repaired, adapted and upgraded, and do not contain any harmful substances. A modular approach based on standardized component interfaces makes luminaires serviceable and creates the conditions for an efficient circle economy in the lighting industry. Circularity lighting refers to a market framework with products and systems that support the aims of the circular economy through enhanced serviceability. The Saga Consortium focuses on the development and standardization of interface specifications for interoperable components for serviceable LED luminaires. Saga also offers a certification program. This results in a rich ecosystem of luminaires and components which work together across the manufacture base. With that, luminaires become serviceable, repairable, upgradable, future-proof, and sustainable. At this point, I would like to refer to our <clears throat> new white paper, how Zaga addresses sustainability and the circular economy, available on our website, www.zagastandard.org. Many thanks for your interest. Mm -hmm.